Good morning, everybody. I brought a book to Circle Time. It's called Jasper's Beanstalk. On Monday, Jasper found a bean. On Tuesday, he planted it. So he has a seed and he has soil. He has two things that plants need, right? On Wednesday, he watered it. Here's the third thing that plants need. So soil, a seed, and water. On Thursday, he dug and raked and sprayed and hoed the ground. So he used all of his garden tools, didn't he? On Friday night, he picked up all the slugs and snails. Yuck. I don't know if I would like that job. On Saturday, he even mowed it. On Sunday, Jasper waited and waited and waited. When Monday came around again, he dug it up. Oh, Jasper's not being patient. Remember, we said it takes a long time for plants to grow. That bean will never make a beanstalk, said Jasper. Oh, he threw it over his shoulder, didn't he? But a long, long time later, look what happened. Jasper forgot about it. So his beanstalk grew, didn't it? It did. It was on a Thursday, I think. Oh, Jasper, silly cat. Now Jasper is going to look for giants. Giants? Why do you think that? I have another story about a little boy who finds a giant. So we're going to share my screen and we're going to learn about a little boy named Jack. So Jack found Jack and the Beanstalk. So Jack went to town to trade his cow. He was supposed to sell the cow, but Jack traded the cow and he traded it for some magic beans. You see the magic beans? The magic beans are orange and white right here. Jack's mom was not happy with Jack. So she threw the beans out the window and overnight they grew into a Beanstalk. Well, Jack woke up the next morning and he decided to climb the beanstalk. When he got to the top of the beanstalk, there was a castle and two giants. And the wife, the, the lady giant, she made Jack breakfast and told Jack that it was not safe to climb the beanstalk. And the, the boy giant, he was kind of mean. So he said, fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell a person. Well, the wife giant hid Jack in a vase so Jack could be safe. And when the boy giant went away, off to work, the wife giant took Jack out of the vase and she gave him a bag of money and told him to go back down that beanstalk because it was not safe and that he needed to go back to his mommy and take her the money. So Jack, he listened because he was a good boy. He wanted to do the right thing. So he climbed down the beanstalk and took the money to his mother. So first, Jack traded the cow for beans. Then Jack climbed the beanstalk. Then Jack met the giant. And last, Jack climbed down the beanstalk and took the money to his mother. It's a good story, huh? All right, now we're gonna do some other things that are really fun. You ready? Small, medium, and large. Which flower is the smallest, the yellow or the red? You're right, the red one. Which one is bigger? This one? No. This one? No. This one, yes. So we have small, medium, large. And then I drew a line around the big one, the biggest. Which group of flowers has more? So let's count. 
This, these are bigger, these flowers are bigger, but let's see, one, two, three, four. Hmm, that's only four. Let's go over here and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's a bigger number, number four or number nine? Yeah, number nine is the biggest number. See my arrows pointing over here to tell us that that has the most flowers. So now we're gonna count flowers together. So get ready, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good counting, friends. Let's, let's do a pattern, are you ready? So I have yellow, purple, yellow. What comes next? You're right, purple. So now we have yellow, purple, yellow, purple. What comes next? Hmm. Having trouble? Let's back it up a little. So we have yellow, purple, then yellow. So yellow, purple, yellow, what comes next? Purple, good job. So yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Yellow is our last color. So let's do it one more time. Yellow, purple, yellow, good job. Purple, yellow, <gasps> kiss your brain. You guys are so smart. All right, so let's talk about our plants. Remember, plants need soil to grow, so the first thing you need is to get your garden ready. And then you put your seeds down in the dirt, but not too far, because you need to leave them a little bit of space at the top, but not, not too much, because if you bury them too deep, it'll take too long for them to come up. So you want them to come up and, when it's warm and look for the sunshine. Plants need water. So first, plants need soil. They need water. They need sunshine. And they need love and patience. So it takes a little bit of time for a flower to grow, doesn't it? Or a vegetable or a fruit. It takes a really long time for, for a tree to grow, like an apple tree or an orange tree. It takes them a long, long time. So we have to be very patient with those. Just like Jasper in our story, he, he got impatient and he dug his plant up, his little seed, so he didn't give it time to grow. Oh, there's all the tulips in Holland. They're so pretty, I just love them. This is the rainbow of flowers. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Look at what you're wearing today and see who's wearing red. Who's wearing orange? Who has on yellow? Who's wearing green? Who's wearing blue? Anybody have on indigo or violet? Miss Gina's wearing pink today. I have on a pink shirt, my pink shirt. Good job, friends. All right, last thing, I have a really fun song for you. Are you ready to hear it? I know I am, I like this song. We're gonna learn our ABCs too. <laughs> Starts with a G. I'm a bulb-shaped plant that makes your breath real stinky. 
guys see any vegetables that you like on there? I like a few of those. I like sweet potatoes and kale. Mm. Well, I hope you guys have a great day. It was nice spending time with you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.